Hello! Friends and neighbors, welcome to another production of a program. Here we are on TV, once again, once a day, every day, Tell Machines live forever. Here we go, I'm alive. I mean, uh, all, the, uh -oh. all the way back around here till Saturday. February 26th. It's a short month this month. You know about months? You know about time? I'm doing some time over here on the couch. I'm gonna sit here and say some things until that timer goes off and then I'm gonna go over there, get on the phones and the tapes and stuff. And that'll, you know, I, I think that'll make it through the hour. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what we could do over there. Else, what else? Sometimes at the end of the show, I come back over here because I've decided that I haven't had enough of this. I hadn't had enough. I want some more. Please, can I have another? Get a little bit. Oh, Oliver! Ouch! Wow! Hot, hot. Get a little bit Oliver twist up in here. Please, sir, can I have another? Uh, I gotta, I think I gotta let this cool down. I can't even eat this. Hot limes. The lime is too hot to eat. Um, Saturday. I guess it's the weekend. And don't you know it. Are we partying? Yesterday I was here on uh, Friday, probably in the evening-ish time, like um, let's say six. I was, what did I do yesterday? What did I eat yesterday? I had the spaghetti, I think I just sat, I didn't do much. But I just came here, kind of evening-ish, 6 o'clock, 6.30-ish. Uh, listening to some messages. I think I was talking to Mark for a good amount of time yesterday. Mark the, the man. Mark the man! Mark was the guitar player, but he threw his guitar paper in the garbage. Guitar player, not himself, he's the guitar player, the guitar and amp is uh, left it by the dumpster because they were not happy about whatever his neighbors he was having a fight with the neighbors and the neighbors and he, he threw his guitar in the dumpster so now it's just mark the regular guy i guess he has an acoustic guitar somewhere uh, mark the guy that's hearing things is it my neighbors? My neighbors? Is it the people outside? I don't know where I'm hearing these things from, but I'm hearing them. Voices. Must be the neighbors. Um. Let's see. <laughs> I'm trying to remember things. A little bit. Not the easiest thing to remember things. So yesterday I went to. Uh, I went. I got after the program here. I think I. Got in my car and went home because I um, I was eating spaghetti here. I left a bowl here. If I remember to take the bowl with me, I should put this stuff in that bowl. I don't have to eat it out of this paper deal. Um, I should bring a plate with me. I want to uh, um, home because I was wearing pajamas. I came out here, I was like, I don't think I'm gonna need to wear regular clothes. I'll just wear my pajamas here. I'm gonna go right back and this will make it so that I, I do go back and don't stay around. So I went back, I ended up parking down the street because the parking has been a little bit weird here downtown. I'm still coming down here all the time, even though this is all I'm doing here anymore. But I did make it downtown, or I made it, made it home yesterday in the car. Um, I don't know, was it yesterday when I saw the free drink sign?
Follow time. Hmm. That seems good. By the time I had left here, I uh, went by that place and they were closed anyway. They had a big truck though. New coffee shop. Grand opening. We sell co coffee. You want to buy coffee? Um, there's like that coffee place and then there's like another one right on the other side of the bridge. But that bridge is a pretty big physical barrier. So it's like you're going down there. And then there's Albert from the stuff like Junior Vivet. Might as well call it Safeway Junior. I remember Robertson's was his own thing. But that was like 10 years, over 10 years ago. Uh, I remember 15 years ago when Robertson's was his own thing and they had Mountain Breeze. And uh, it was um, uh, separate, you know? Separate from Albertson's, or separate from Safeway anyway. They were blue. The theme was blue. The sign's still blue. Inside is red. Safeway is red. Albertsons is blue. Top Cruise is green. It's like RG, uh, RGB. Red, green, blue. RYB. Sometimes it's yellow. Sometimes it's yellow. Sometimes it's green. The yellow or green is blue and yellow together anyway. That was Top Foods is green. Um, uh, Albertsons is blue and Chipotle was red. Now they're all red, I think, which is something showing signs of things. But how can I complain about Albertsons when there's a war? <laughs> um, but what else am I going to do? The grand opening, I mean, we still did this grand opening in the coffee shop. And we're all still living our lives. People getting killed every day somewhere. What are we going to do about it? Keep making coffee. Eating sandwiches. Um, we should go to that Russian dumplings restaurant over there. Or I guess Ukraine dumplings. I forget that changed your name. Other restaurant over there. Ukrainian dumplings. Um, what is Russian food anyway? Stroganoff. Here's Russian food. You take cream mushroom soup and you put it in pasta and beef chunks. In, in Russia, that's what they eat in Russia. Um, there's that coffee shop. The new one is right by where that sub place is, where those, I had that really weird experience where that guy told me that it was an honor to make a sandwich. Um, and who told me the old, the old owner was racist. This was like last week, but I don't know if I told this part of the story, so when I went there to uh, get the food, you know, it was odd. It was an honor experience. It's just like me and this other guy. Subway style, the guy's making the food right in front of me, like they do at the Subway. I prefer when you don't see them. And then we're back hiding out somewhere. This guy right in front of you. Chatting up. He's like, we're not, we're not sub shop anymore. I want to go to this place because this is called straight up sub shop. I was like, I like that style. It's like donut shop. There's a donut shop in Hawks Prairie. It's called Donut Shop. This place was just called Sub Shop, and I was like, I'm gonna go to Sub Shop. So I, I went in there, and the guy had informed me that they had switched orders like two weeks ago. And I just started here two weeks ago. Wow, wow, wow. It's kind of getting weird. The menu was. Showing like um, like a Google stick or something, like a Amazon, like a Fire Stick, like like you watch Netflix on the menu TVs. Instead of showing natural menu, and he's like, the old guys, they're out of here. I was like, oh, what happened to the uh, the old owners? He's like, oh, you didn't hear? He was racist. <laughs> he said he was racist. I was like, what does that mean? 
What do you mean he was racist? He was like, ah, oh, he was a racist. Oh, he was so. Apparently, the old owners were racist. Um, which is weird to hear. I don't know what that. Until racism is a complicated thing, especially to call out like the old owners. They're out of here because of racism. So, oh, that's not good. I got the sandwich, and he's like, "It's all under make the sandwich." We gotta chill out, brah. So, anyway, that place is called Sandwich Shop. They weren't even called Sandwich Shop anymore. They changed their name to Scouts Subs, which I didn't really love. I wanted them to be Sub Shop. So I never did get to go to Sub Shop while well, it was still that. But apparently, the owner of Sub Shop was racist. So. You know, don't want to go to a place where they're racist. Hey, welcome to the sub shop. You know, call me a saint, but I am against racism. And uh, also, uh, killing. So I don't like, I don't like killing. I wonder if people should do it. It's not very nice to do. Um, or racism, I guess. I guess, you know, a racist and a killer, which one's worse? Who, I mean, I guess you could be both, and that's the worst one. I mean, racially motivated killing, so. But you could just be, I mean, if you're killing white people, well, is it better to be a racist or kill other white people? Hard decision. Um, but I uh, didn't get, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't really buy the coffee, but the new coffee shop is right there. And they had a big, like, bus or something. It's a big corporate spot or something. And then, like, you know, one block down, of course, is another hut. So there's, like, this fancy hut that they just built. Like, one block down is, like, another hut. But they're on, like, Opposite sides of the freeway, so it's like the like the first coffee shop, then the freeway, then the second coffee shop. So, like depending on if you're going towards Lacey or the other one, and getting off the freeway, then maybe you're gonna go to a different coffee shop. But you're not getting coffee shop when you're getting off. The, I guess if you're coming here to work, then maybe you are getting coffee when you're getting off of, off the freeway. You can get coffee before you get on the freeway. To me, that's coffee time. I think you're gonna need some coffee while you're driving, you know. But I uh, didn't uh, didn't get the coffee. I didn't get the free coffee even last night. And it said free drinks. They had a sign that said free drinks. So I go, oh, I kind of want to get a free drink, but I don't really want what uh, heavy cream. A little bit of coffee with heavy cream and sugar. What is those coffee drinks? I drink black coffee. So, <laughs> hey, free drinks! I'm like, hey, do you guys have uh, regular coffee? Yeah, it's free. Oh, regular free black coffee. So, probably something. Um, yeah, it was free. Going back to the last night, they were not still open. The van was still there, though. I didn't think to look today, but they took down the sign. Some people have grand opening signs for years. They just never take it down. I'm like, why would they? Every day. Oh, it was grand opening again every day. Grand opening implies that you're, it's the first day, but I think you can keep doing it forever, every day. It's grand enough. Are you telling me that every day is not grand enough to say that I can have grand opening? Because that's not what the case is. I can put this up every day to leave it on forever, but then you don't believe them. You don't, I don't, like I know, I know you've been closed. Like why are you trying to do this grand opening thing? Like you're going to try something new? Like hey, look, a new place. Maybe if you're new into town or something, you say, oh, look, a new place, let's go. 
try this new place. Wow, this coffee is different than all the other coffees. Hey, free coffee here? Wow, your, your coffee is good. This is really good. Um, like uh, syrup, that, that brand of syrup, they're making something that's on them. Oh, that syrup and the flavors. Uh, I don't know if they got yeah, at those fancy coffee shops they got those flavor bottles. You can it's like we can get one in any flavor, all the flavors. What flavor do you like? Marshmallow, uh, caramel, vanilla. Uh, simple syrup, honey flavor. My favorite kind of flavor is you can get them in your coffee. And now for free, uh, maybe I should start selling cheap coffee. We'll go to that, that truck, uh, make a truck next to uh, Pattaya, so bagels and coffee and donuts. Hey, donuts and coffee, I don't even cook anything, I just make the coffee and come and get it for $2. It's $2 bagels and coffee can't turn that down. It's too good of a value to turn down, even though it's awful. Wow. This food is awful, but it's cheap as hell. And I'm shoving it down my face. That's what you can think about that one. I don't know, but I, I did make a home. Oh, oh, timer went off. I did make a home last night, and uh, I was watching TV, you know, doing a little bit of sleeping. Uh, a little bit of TV watching. It's probably going to walk. I'm going to try. It's raining. I'm going to try to go after this. I'm going to go on this walk for a few rounds. We'll see. I guess. Yeah, it is raining, but I'm not thinking of walking in the rain. A little rain never hurt no one. Unless you get real cold. And then you could get hypothermia or something. I think that's rare. Uh. Is it time? I think it's pill time. Uh oh. I was velcroed in. There's uh, kind of a mess on the table. Keep, keep throwing the table up. Hmm, looks like we got some messages from Yellow Fellow, Mark Guitar Player, and a couple of strangers. So, this is the final Yellow Fellow message. Hello. Still waiting. Still a little frustrated and disappointed. Uh, but she's not being a big baby about it. Um, it's hard to when that's just kind of ingrained into who you are. Being a huge baby? You know, big babiness. But so. So much so already a part of your system. How do you shut it off? I don't know. But right now I'm just a guy at the end of his driveway on the phone. Uh, and there's a uh, I don't know. What stuff to be thankful for? I'm glad I'm not a pregnant woman. What? Um, I've grown into appreciation of the fact that that's not something I could have happen to me. To, you know, I don't want to be pregnant. I don't think that could happen to me. In the body I have. Um, so. Got 
body that will not get pregnant. There's a lot of rocks on the driveway. There's sun is now well, a little bit more set than it was before. And yay! The car's coming. Wow, now I don't have to be a big baby. Now I'm gonna go to dinner and I'm not gonna be a pregnant woman. Yeah, I think Yelfa has been leaving less messages because, um, uh, uh, because his, um, no, no car. Hi, Kenny. Hi, hi, uh, Freddie. I gotta be real quiet because the neighbor yelled at me because I was being loud. I'm a loser, baby. Anyway, uh, I hope your day goes good. Give me a call. Have a nice day. Uh, uh, I am sorry if I have said anything wrong to you in the past. I, I'm very truly sorry. Repent, you know, all that stuff. And I hope your day goes good. Uh, I don't. I couldn't sleep because I. Uh, I couldn't sleep very well because I said weird stuff to you. It came to my hot mind and. I'm trying, I'm sorry, you know, I'm sorry if I said anything weird in the past, you know, uh, or strange in the past or something. What did you say, Mark? I don't even know. You guys, I care about you guys, you're cool, and I don't want to bother you, and, and so I'll make this one call quick there. Uh, this is Mark Rebecca. Uh, it's just come to my mind. I'm sorry if I ever bothered you. Uh, it's weird. I know. Uh, you have a good day there, guys. You and you and uh, you and Freddie, and you're good people. And I just want to make honestly say that I'm sorry if I ever say anything weird in the past. It's getting on my mind when I'm sleeping. I'm sorry. Uh, I gotta be normal. And I'll take my medicine. And all that stuff. I'll talk to you later. You have a nice day now. Have a God bless day now. Uh, see you later, uh, Kenny. And give me a call, uh, Freddie. I'll talk to you later. Bye. God bless you. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
from LA three three zero should we call this guy first we'll call this guy back first uh, probably internet jokey guy hello internet jokey guy have you found your son what happened to them I wonder what video you're watching You said that your son is missing. Maybe they're in the toilet. Uh, as small as your son, did you uh, like find you you find them yet? It's a lot of places, especially in LA, and could have run off to go try to be in the movies like Maryland does. Did you check Hollywood? You should call Universal Studios. Yeah, I never. Uh, I'm in LA in a while. You, <laughs> do you know David Liebehart? That's my uh, Hollywood friend. What are you doing today, uh, caller? Watching? Which video did you watch? Mario Paint? Uh, you can call us back. You know the number here. Get on the meet too. We're on the meet, and we have a lot of videos to watch. Thanks for leaving weird messages. Even though they were, maybe you're saying a little bit of offensive things on purpose, trying hard to be, uh, you know, moderately offensive. But, you know, I've heard worse. You didn't really go too far with it. So I'm happy about that. And it's kind of short. You're doing a weird voice. Uh, you said, where is my son? Well, that one, I'll play that one again. Not your second one. That was a little offensive. Have you seen my son? Have you seen my son? Maybe, uh... Thank you. Thank you. Maybe in that case, the son is not missing. Because you're. Just, have you seen my son? Alright, it's called Yellow Fellow. I'm going to call Mark the Guitar Player, Mr. Ginsu. Freddie and John Webster, everybody. after the tone. Hello, Yelfo. This is a program. You could call us back here. You have about uh, about 30 minutes. Here, you want to hear some message from a long time ago? How long ago was this? I listened to all your messages. 
should call and leave like 30 of them again. That'd be good for me. Remember what you were doing back here in, uh, let's go to January. See what you were doing in January. Uh, ping. Uh, roller. Derby. Quickie. Uh, a tree. Uh, squishy beads on a purple tree. Uh, squishy beads which have a like glitter, free yellow glue. Uh, the, the sticky beads just kind of oozing and a uh, plopping. Uh, like, Symmetrical, horizontal, uh, delight, uh, with, like, it's, uh, syrupy, it's almost like a, uh, festive, uh, like, ceremonial, uh, almost spiritual type of, uh, convenient, uh, bite-sized, uh, new methodology, uh, with the, kind of, it's like the quintessential, like, elaborate, um, uh, yearly, or annual, annual type of, uh, uh, Right size uh, motion type of uh, annual type of uh, type of uh, like segmented uh, uh, kind of illustrious uh, word salad uh, field uh, uh, cows. Well, anyway, that's what you're doing in January 30th. So. The end of the month. We're getting close to the end of this month, but there's less months in the year, less days in the year. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's take a look at 2018. I think this is in there for now. Future. It's us, the past. Yeah. Bella, what do you have to say to the past? Um. Like, I don't know. I. Uh, Bella's here, and it's Monday, and uh, cha is it, what's different about yesterday than today? Not okay, much. bye. You know, day to day, not that much difference, but over time, that's where the differences lie. Let me tell you something. All right. Okay, I think, oh, I guess I'm going to wake up Mr. Ginsu if he's, because I think he's sleeping during the day. Say, Mr. Ginsu, but it's 3 p.m. Oh, Lord. What's you getting to? I want to sleep. You sleep? Are you, are you, are you, are you, am I calling you in the middle of sleep? You want to go back to sleep, huh? Yeah. Good night. <laughs> what time, what time do you sleep? Oh, go to sleep. Okay, good night. Yep. <laughs> called him, I called him in the middle of sleep. And he still answered the phone. Um. You know, he didn't need to answer the phone. But he did. I don't know when to call him. I guess we're going to figure that one out. Here's John Webster. I think we've been back at 2 a.m. That's all I want to call and check in with him. I could look at the internet, but it's better to just call him. Oh, look, it's the cops. Clearfield, this is Kelsey. Hi, this is uh, Kenny from TV. Is John Webster available? Uh, unfortunately, he's a little bit busy at the immediate moment. Can we call you back after? Sure, can I just call back in, what, 10, 10, 15 minutes or something? Uh, what was that? I want to call back, or you can call me back, but I can call back to you in like 10 or 15 minutes. 
Yeah, that works. Okay, bye. Bye. Joan Webster, unavailable. I guess now we're getting to Mark, the guitar player. Uh, huh? Making the rounds. Who's awake? Rebecca, it's the program on TV. How are you? Well, um, really well. Uh, we found a church to belong to of God. We love very much. Uh, we love you guys. Love you. Try yep. to be visiting sometime in our future. You're welcome here. Telephone first, you know. And here's Mark, love. Okay. Hello, how are you doing there today? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Well, I'm pretty good. I left a message and it's kind of weird, but... <laughs> Everything's just, weird. Uh, it's all weird. Put on my post I'm just putting on my posters right now, just having fun, you know? Yeah, I think things are fine. You keep thinking things are weird recently, Mark. I think everything's fine. I know. It's probably my, it's probably my illness, and you've heard about my illness, me and uh, paranoid schizophrenic and stuff. It's, it's probably my illness. I got to take care of that. Really oh yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, paranoia is hard, huh? You think everything's weird? Yeah, well, it's just a scary thing for me, you know, my illness. So I have to deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're doing good, Mark. I'm proud of you. I, I just got to keep taking my meds and let the doctor help me out and get me well. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you're talking, Mark. Lots of people are in your position and doing less, you know. I mean. It's, it's good if you're comfortable with people, they'll be comfortable with you, you know. We're yeah. friends, Mark. You don't have to be paranoid. Well, how's your uh, how's your recording doing? Sounds pretty good last time, huh? I think we're doing just fine. Rebecca said you went to church. Was that today? Yeah, we had fun. Well, it, it got emotional, but it was fun, you know. How did you get to church? Well, we got a ride. Hey, somebody's calling in. I gotta, can you call back in about 10 minutes or something? Yeah. yeah. Let me show you, all right, bye. Okay, bye. Okay. okay. Well, well, I guess we're calling around, doing other things. We'll call Freddie, the producer, try to get somebody on this message of the future, and we'll record ourselves and take a look at that thing for a while. Because both John Hills looks like John Webster and Mark Zeppelin will be called in 10 minutes or so. I guess I said 10 minutes with John. Whoop, whoop. Thank you for thing. Hey, program. Hey, buddy. How are ya? Oh, I'm doing okay. It's, uh, I got the day off. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm using it well. I was trying to put together records for the radio show. Uh huh. And in one thing, I've succeeded. I've got records Good. for the radio show. Kind of thought I was gonna do a numbers episode where I play like a song with the one in the title and then the two and the three up you know like yeah. yeah um but I couldn't find a good number 10 or a good number wait I guess I just find a 10 couldn't find a 13 I'm starting to feel like weird about it so I stopped halfway and now I'm I put together a whole different set of records so oh, okay that'll be good Thirteen, like a, a, a pretty fly for a white guy. They say thirteen in that. Yep, they, they wanted a thirteen, but they drew a thirty-one. Oh, he's I gonna see. go get a tattoo. That's a good. Oh, nice. That's pretty funny. Seems like thirteen would be out of numbers, a common number. Would, you'd think so, but um, I mean, I've got. I found a lot of different numbers. I don't have the 18, and then 19 is like a, it's not. 18, 18 seems like a common number too, especially with old I music. Know. Yeah. Old music, I, um, I, but they're always fix, fixated on like weird, weird, like <laughs> lots of like blatant um, borderline pedophilia. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, they're like, um, t- always talking about the young girls. Oh, she, young girls. Yeah, yeah, she was 18. It's like, uh oh, that's weird. Right. I mean, if 18 if you're lucky. I feel like 16 is. Yeah, weird. oh yeah. yeah, yeah. She was 16. Not good. Old songs. Don't do that. Um, they, yeah, but, uh, so no, are you going to do some of the numbers anyway? Or? What? You're, you're not doing any of the numbers, huh? Not doing the numbers. Um, I guess, I don't know. I got, I got myself into a corner where I'm like, I don't think I can do it the way I want to do it, so I'm not going to do it until I can, I guess. That sounds good. Anyway, that's that. There's also, uh, crazy world. Yeah. yeah. World is... I was thinking about, so, as far as that goes, you know, like, we were, like, in Afghanistan war, like, the country or something? Up, yeah. up until, um, up until, like, this year, basically, right? Like, or maybe, like, last year, like, Biden finally decided that we're not in Afghanistan anymore, and... I, this is it's a real question, but uh, are we worse than Russia, or like as bad as Russia? Everybody's like, oh no, Russia and Ukraine, but like, I thought we've been already doing wars for so long. Like, what's the? I don't. I really don't we actually know the difference. So we might do worse, actually. Yeah, not. But it is. It is. Uh, I guess it's an immediate trick in a way, where they're like, like, uh oh, now it's war, and like, I guess we weren't ever. They're actually, as I understand it, trying to take over a place. It's trying to not. It's trying to be a different place. Yeah. yeah. The U.S. is always like just trying to get their resources and like put, ah, uh, yeah, put like puppet. Um, Government. Power. Yeah. 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 So. So. So we've been at war this whole time, and I was thinking about that, and I don't know. I guess it's it's you're not really supposed to. I mean, definitely. It's, bad it's all bad but i was thinking about yeah. that we just got out of the thing so i'm like what is what is it not and it's not rhetorical i'm not saying like are we we're not worse or something like that i'm like no, actually no. real I'm question like, yeah. yeah like are we i don't really um, understand it does make me wonder what the perspective of the average russian citizen is and another thing is that's like the US is always like Nothing with they already filled the whole continent, you know, North America or whatever. I guess not Canada, but we're not gonna try to like get Canada or Mexico or something. No, but it's literally uh, on the border of Russia as it exists, and so that's that's interesting. What if that affects like public opinion? Yeah, and then Chernobyl, you hear about the Chernobyl thing? No, what? Uh, well. Chernobyl is in Ukraine, oh. and um, the Russian military is like taking it over. And uh, it, it, whether it's maybe because there was like more radiation stuff happening, but the uh, people were were reporting on it were saying it might be because they drove trucks in like the off limits areas where the like radiation has kind of settled into the soil. And so then the soil is getting kicked up, but I don't know, everyone's just hoping that they're going to let the Ukraine scientists just, like, continue their mediation projects, because there's, like, long-term um, mediation projects oh. for, like, trying to keep all of that stuff safe and so it won't spread or, like, get worse. They're, they're having the war on top of the old nuclear plant? It's just in, you know, it's in part of Ukraine, and they're they're going all over the place, I guess. Oh no! I I turned that show off. Did you watch that show? What show? Yeah, Chir- I listened listen to it. No, or the Chir- the Chernobyl what TV show? show. Oh, no, uh, that sounds intense. Yeah, they made a TV show, and like, I turned it off because I didn't want to see the melty people. It was too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess I like fictional melty people, but no. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, not real melty people. 
What? What? What, 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 what do they want? I don't. Under, I, I still just don't understand. I mean, it's, it's like keep saying stuff like I don't understand war, but I really don't know what they want. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. They <laughs> want. Uh, I don't know. They don't. They want. I was. That's why I was kind of asking some people. I was like, Does Ukraine have like resources? Or something that Russia wants, or like, why? Yeah. Why do you even want more country? Seems like it might be too much already, or something. You know? Yeah, you've had no. You know, you have enough country. I don't know what's going on, but uh, I'm still. We're still doing this. I'm still do, doing the TV show and watching yeah. TV, and I've been playing a lot of Super Nintendo, and I'm like, wow, people are dying right now. But. Yeah. They're dying everywhere. They probably so. were already dying too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we just now now we know exactly where they're dying and who's doing it, kind of. <sighs> yeah. But I don't know. I think that's the thing. I I've been noticing. I'm playing more video games than I used to, but I think it's definitely. Uh, I'm like, oh, don't think about the war. <laughs> I should play video games. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm queuing up the message of the future. Oh, hold on. Uh, uh, terrible. Don't, yeah. yeah, don't think about it. Yeah. Um, talking about Chernobyl. It's raining. Uh, not yet. Um, Wait. Dog. Happy. Haven't started the Here's message. Now I am. Wait. Oh. Hey, future. It's us the past. Who, now? Yes. Oh, I thought the last one was the past. It's this one. Okay, that's good. Where's the past? Uh, Mark put his guitar at the garbage can. It's uh, Saturday, we got a call from LA. Freddy's there, We're talking about the war still. Is it over? Is it happening? Are we, are you looking out, look out in the bushes? Oh, look out in the bushes. It's commies. <laughs> they want to share. Oh. They want to share things. Yeah, let's all join together as like one big country. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> <Maybe> not. <laughs> oh, I guess that's what, well, that's kind of what they want or something. Yeah. It's, it's kind of, I don't know. I wonder how it was. During World War II, if they, you know, people are just doing their own thing, um, and then they're like, oh, we're in war now. But you know what's really odd to me uh, is seeing all this social media. Yeah. They're like, hey, look, they're like, I have a video. It's like they're doing like a da uh, the dance, you know, and then they're like, go look out in the kitchen window, and then there's like a bomb. They're like, hey, look, Russian airplanes. Like, Whoa. They're, they're taking selfies, people are taking selfies. And they're like, hey, we're fleeing, we're refugee, fleeing refugees. But it's like a selfie picture. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They got the Instagram filters on still. Yeah. They're like, hey, uh, TikTok, my, my country is being bombed. Oh. Yep. Mm. How's the dog? Oh. She's good. We put some medicine on her today. It's, um... On her? What is this? Not ringworm. Huh? Yeah, what? What? Stomach worms? Some kind of worm. Huh? Ivermectin? Heartworm. Heart? Oh. No. No. We're not, we're not giving her ivermectin. Is Although that would be a good thing for a dog. But the for, dog had worms. For worms, yeah. Um, yeah, for worms. But, no, it's some kind of a thing that kills heartworm, which is like some, dude, the heartworm is such a crazy creature. It like, it like goes into the dog as like, I don't know how to get in the dog. But basically, it's got all these different life stages and eventually, the adults like live in the heart and send new babies out through the whole blood system. And they all come back to the heart, and when they're in the heart, that's really bad. But you can have like the other pieces of there, and it's like takes 
uh, like five or six months for them to fully become adults and be really dangerous. Um, and so it's kind of a hard dog virus or whatever to detect. And so you kind of have to treat it um, like several Pre- times. Like preventative? You stop it, you kind of just like, yeah, you're like, like okay, we're going to put the stuff in there that kills the baby heartworm or something. What is it, piss? You can't, ki- I don't know, it, or like prevents the baby heartworm from growing. I guess I should have paid more attention to what the vet said. Anyway, it, it looks like she doesn't have that heartworm. But it's like, like I said, it's difficult to detect. And so, so it's preventative? Her medication anyway, and it just goes on her neck. But I think it probably makes her not feel good because she's back in my little, like, whiny today and she'll go out when it's raining and hits the rain and I don't like the rain when I'm walking the dog as much it's probably where I put a coat on but yeah I'm gonna go well, do a couple of laps right after this we have about 10 minutes and I'm gonna do a couple of laps before the radio show um, but uh the it goes on the on, on the dog's neck yeah it's like on the outside it's uh, some kind of a liquid paste stuff you put on the dog or like a gel you squeeze it out of a tube and put it on the back of the dog's neck. And then it goes inside? I guess, yeah. In, in their skin out. or something, no? Absorbed? Huh. I don't know. I don't know. That is odd. Well, I'm going to call John Webster and Mark again because they said, okay. wait 10 minutes. Um, well, how's the production right. going? Is 2 a.m. going? 2 a.m. back on. Uh, that's good. I good. Got the hard drive in there. Everything's good. All right, I'm going to call John Webster. Okay, thanks. Bye. Okay, bye. All right, here we go. It's called John Webster. TV show is John Webster available? Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Uh oh. What happened? Hello. Oh, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Oh, hey, John. I've been, I've been watching your. I've been watching your show. Uh, I've been watching your show. Uh, you can put these uh, on the table. We're back at 2 a.m., John, right? Yep. Hey. That's just and, for you. Uh, uh-huh. And uh, I and I like the dice game, too. Yeah, we've been, we're playing the dice game back then. We're not playing it anymore. <laughs> yes, you are. I mean, um, uh, at... at at the two o'clock ones. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, maybe we should bring it back, huh, John? But uh, are we uh, uh, we brought it back because you told us it was gone. It's back for you, you know. I watch the two o'clock. I I watch two o'clock all the time. That's good, John. We put it back on because I heard about you and you were trying to watch it and it wasn't there, so we put it back on. Uh, it's mostly for you because I don't know who else is watching it. You know. Uh huh. I wonder who's watching. Yeah. I know nobody, nobody else at least they're telling me about it, you know. How are you doing today? What did you do today? Uh, I'm watching uh, uh, the Senate uh, do some, uh, the, let the Senate, uh, they're doing, right now they're doing hate, uh, hazing prevention. 18? Hazing prevention. What does that mean? Hazing. Prevention. They don't like A team? Uh, hazing. Hazing. H-A-Z-I-N-G. You know, yeah, like what, in, in the army? Where are, they, where are people getting hazed? No, prevent, hazing prevention. Yeah, they don't like hazing. But what are they, how are they going to stop that? It's kind of a, in the army or where? where? I don't know. <laughs> You have to watch the, the you have to watch uh, the Senate. Is it? It's on 
the way it's in, it means too many. Is it the state senate or the uh, the country? No, our uh, it's it's our uh, thing here. Washington. It's our thing here. How do you feel? You you do you like hazing, John? Are you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm against it. I don't think they should be doing yeah, that. It's not very nice. Well, I'm for I'm for I'm, I mean I'll <laughs> vote on it anyway. Yeah, I'm for hazing prevention. I don't I don't think they should be hazing people. It's like when they get you get a new person, and then you want to break them in and you haze them. Uh, maybe you hit them with ro soap in a sock, you know? Like Full Metal, you ever seen Full Metal Jacket? I didn't. You ever seen that movie, Full Metal Jacket? What do you mean? It's a movie, uh, I think it was from the 70s, by Stanley Kubrick made a movie called Full Metal Jacket. It takes place, and they go to Vietnam, they're, they're hitting people with soap in a sock. That's a hazing. Uh. Yeah. Should not be doing that. Hazing is not nice, John. You know? Yeah. Well, I'm, go I'm glad that you're we're on 2 a.m. I wanted to, to call and tell you that we're back and make sure you knew, but I'm sure you already noticed. Uh-huh. Yeah. Then you got the uh, uh, car on at, 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 at 2 o'clock. At two o'clock, it would be Sunday morning. Yeah, yeah. those are the classic old, old classic I, episodes. I'll be, church, uh, I'll be going to church this coming Sunday. Oh yeah, I'll be, I'll be going to church tomorrow. Tomorrow, you yeah. Have what? Car on. You have car on. Yeah, you you stay up till three a.m. watching the program, and then you go to church at like ten a.m. Huh? <laughs> no, ten thirty. When do you Our sleep? Church, our church starts at 10.30. When do you sleep? Pardon? When are you sleeping? Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> in the daytime. Yeah, that's a good time to sleep. You fall asleep anyway. Yeah. You would be awake anyway, right, John? I'm not keeping you up with the program. If you if it were on, you stay up that late anyway, you're doing whatever, yeah? Um... Uh, then I watch uh, a movie. I watch a movie on on on, uh, on the sta on the station. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, that's good. Then when five o'clock comes, I I put it in mute. Yeah. Put on my, but I have my breathing uh, breathing machine on. At five a.m. I have my breathing machine on. Yeah, you go to you go you put your breathing machine on at 5 a.m. and go to sleep, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> Is it what CPAP? They had, CPAP they call it. It's yeah, it's uh, you know like in like you were in uh, oh at the clinic in in uh, on Lily Road. Yeah. yeah. Does that feel weird? Does it like vacuum your lungs? Is it like breathe? It breathes. They have a sleeping thing. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, in uh, what's called? The machine like breathes for you, right? Like, like is that weird? Is that a weird feeling? Is it like pumping the air out of your own body? Like when you when you wear that thing? Mm. <laughs> you put it over your you put it over your out. Yeah, and then it like pumps, it pumps your lungs or something, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's what breathing sounds like, John. I want to get, can I get one of those? I don't want to breathe on my own anymore. I'm, I'm lazy. I get a machine to breathe for me. <laughs> I had a good breakfast this morning. Oh yeah, what was it? I had sausage and eggs. Oh, that is a good breakfast. And uh, then yogurt with berries. Wow, John, you you're living it up at, over there. You got a breathing yeah, machine. I want you. I want you to be a, a roommate. A roommate here, honest. Oh yeah, I can. Can I? Will they make me breakfast too? Uh, yeah, they're 
They'll feed you breakfast. Yeah, I can eat the breakfast that your helpers make, huh? They will feed you breakfast, and you see, uh, you see, you see, uh, uh, Jeff? You see what's going on all the time? Yeah, yeah. you got a spare bedroom? You see, you see, um, uh, you see, uh, you see, uh, Jeff? Jeff's gonna be here pretty soon. How many, how many bedrooms is it? Jeff's gonna be here about 10 minutes. You don't have, do you have any roommates? Pardon? You don't have any roommates now, huh? Nope. Just you Just and your helpers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yep. well, and the my cat laying on the uh, gray chair, and I'm laying, I'm sitting at the uh, what? leather couch John, here. John, the show's over. <laughs> the show's over, John. I'm going to play the yeah, credit. I'll be, watch be watching you and Carl, uh, at 2 o'clock, and I'll be watching you at 11.30 uh, tonight. Good. Uh -huh. Thanks for watching, John. It's Saturday. Yeah. I'm running the credits right now. Okay. We're on TCTV Channel 22 at 11.30 and 2 a.m. And on YouTube. Yeah. Uh -huh. 360-360-4, call the message. You got a TV. Yep. Yeah. Why do you still be on .com? Three six zero three six two zero four. Good dollar, George. Good song. Thank you. TCTV, the baby, Dirty Fabulous, Oka Books, Four Star Video, Stuff by Com, Rebecca, Mountain Boy, Northwest. I have the T. I have the TCTV. Uh, Let's go watch the video. Hey, John, here's your picture. Say hi to yourself. Hi there. Hell yeah, dog. People. Bye. Bye. <laughs>